Hello Gemini, welcome to Drake Tarot. My name is Becky and this is your love reading for September 21. And remember, not all is going to resonate and if it all does, then congratulations. Please like and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, please do contact me on the email address that's in the description. And remember to check your moon rising and your Venus signs because they can give clarity too to a situation. If this story doesn't fit, your story is somewhere else. Okay, one more. Gemini. I think we're done. One more. Sorry. You still with me, Gemini? Nearly finished. Okay, so we've got Princess of Staves. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got the Empress that's crossing your way towards this person. <sighs> hmm. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm still here. I'm just thinking who the Princess of Staves is. Now you've got the Emperor as your main current energy at the moment here. Then you have the two, okay, interesting. Now this is a funny story. This isn't a typical love story, although you do have the two of cups in your future, which is good, positive, yay, brilliant. Whatever situation this is, because what we have is if you are worrying about how you are as a person, whether you are fertile, whether you are attractive enough, this is getting in the way of a new passionate start for you. So you could be a singly, someone who's single. Because you, your past energy, all I see here is someone looking out towards the future planning future events, planning which way you want to go, where you want to be. Travel. But at the moment, you're in this um, area of power that you hold. You could be dealing with an Aries, but there's a power, maybe a power challenge between you and another person. Or it could be that you're having to boss up and play father maybe you're having to be the father figure because that's what confused me about this princess of staves because for some of you I'm, I'm looking I'm for some of you you are a single mum and your main priority at the moment is your child and you don't feel as if you're attractive enough to start something new with someone else that's the kind of deal I'm getting here now, you want your fortune to go in the right direction. So maybe you feel as if financially you're not doing so well. And also luck and love. But you have a two of cups coming your way. So there's something new on the horizon. And this is usually seen as a soulmate car, a card a perfect connection, two equal people coming together and equal love towards each other. But your advice is the king of coins. Now this is earth energy. We could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn, <laughs> nearly. Um, so the king of coins, he's reliable. He looks after his family, his home, his legacy, his He's a good father figure when it comes to looking after the house and the people in it. Now, this doesn't involve the emotional side of it, though. OK. They see you as being changed. You have changed. So whether you have changed. This is a good sign. Whoever you're thinking of. You are transforming. They see you transforming into something new. And they're not disappointed. 
that's why you've got the two of cups you hope for new love you hope for a new start a new child a new marriage a new proposal and you but you end with the five of cups which is strange so this it's almost as if you feel as if you've lost what you had the spilt cups from the past is getting you down but what you don't realize is that you have the two of cups there by the side of you as your conclusion so even though you feel down and out this is coming your way okay okay so we need the other person's energy see what the other person's thinking feeling Remember to mix and match these because this could be the other person's energy. If you've got cross watchers watching, that kind of thing, um, it's necessary because to find out what story fits in that kind of way. Oop, oop, oop. Nearly there. Just need a couple more shuffles. Don't go. There's more to say. Don't press that button. Don't swipe. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this person sees their wishes are going to come true. They could be in the limelight. They could be um, being looked upon by someone. Or by many people. A famous person. This person is what they see as attractive. Okay. Right, so they're start of their reading is feeling the loss and regret of something but their obstacle to feeling this well is that they've had a new opportunity come up whether with you or with someone else they're in this state of um going towards something new they're waiting for a message to come in about something new but it hasn't come in yet They didn't receive an apology in the past. If this was you, Gemini, who didn't give the apology, maybe you think they didn't deserve an apology, but there's something going on there. And they hope for a tower not to fall. They fear a tower falling again, or this final time. And then we have the three of wands in their future. So they're looking out towards, it looks like you or someone else, I can't tell, but they're waiting for their ships to come in. It's almost as if they might be waiting for you. Now, they've been advised not to manipulate the situation, to just let it be and to hold on, to wait. And with the chariot, you see them moving forward um, with full control of the reins. Um, the star card and this, this person that you're thinking of, Gemini, is moving forward and their wishes are coming true. They're making their dreams come true. But what Spirit is telling them is not to manipulate manipulate the situation too much. And then they've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So they fear being this person that ends up being all about the excitement and the passion. They want to see the emotional side of things. They want the practical reliability of a relationship. Um, so they fear being seen as um, this sort of uh, racy character that goes around getting what they can, where they can, you know, um, the excitement of um, relationships, the, the sex, you know, that kind of thing, the chase. And then you end with the eight of wands. So it could be that things are moving fast for them. They're either traveling fast or there's some fast communication that's happening and they're not looking towards you because they're looking out towards their future and waiting for their ships to come in. 
in the near future for you, you've got the two of cups. So whether with this person or with another person, you get your equal give and take of a situation and a happy time of it. So is this like an ex and someone that you're thinking, oh, what's what's happening to them? Okay. Gemini, were these yours? No, they weren't. So we'll get you a new card. I've got to take them down from the last lot. My bad. They had nothing to do with you. All right. That would be funny if I got the card up again. Okay. Card for Gemini, please. Oh, there it is. Oh, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. There you go. Let's put it all in perspective. And one last card. Oh, I like that one. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Look at that. Okay. Thank you very much, Gemini. Please like and subscribe if you like this reading and hopefully see you next time. Take care. Bye.